hope that happens. But unfortunately, you know the nature of news, actually. But all right, so let's go ahead and take a look at what the dailies have got T today. We've got Richard Mama joining us to take us through some of the dailies. Good morning, and thank you for coming on today. Good morning, thank you. Well, let's start with uh, Nigerian Tribune this morning. Look at the lead story here today. Southwest schools set to reopen, ready for WASC. Uh, of course, you know, if you've been keeping tabs on the news, this is what's been playing out for a while now. Look at some of the writers now. Set August 3, resumption date for SS3 students. Seek shift of WASC to August 24. FG's meeting with parents continues Monday. Uh, and I know that uh, Tribune uh, yes, yeah, highlighting this one today. But you also, there's a meeting that showed it today between, uh, I think, the minister, the ministry, and uh, I think the House Committee on Education, uh, Basic Education Services, just to get some clarity as to why that announcement came. But you uh, must have kept tabs on this one. What's your thought about it? I think that generally is in order. We Which part? Which one is in order? Okay. <laughs> we have a health crisis, COVID, oh. Oh. and that is uh, what had uh, precipitated the shutdown of the schools at this point. Mm. And uh, I think that uh, proceeding from there, there, there have been some kind of disruption mm. in the entire you know, educational ecosystem and indeed in every other system as it, as it were. Mm -hmm. and, uh, you know, that, that other word that uh, you find in the Bible, you say, why sit we here until we die? You know, we've got to find a way around all the circumstances that have befallen us. And this is one of it. We have an educational system. We have children who have worked for, say, six years. And this is, you know, the tail, the, the, the end of the process. And then this crisis happens and there are estimated 1.5 you know, you know, million children involved as a nation. This is a logistics challenge and we should address it. But, you know, this is coming on the back of that, uh, uh, well, do we, okay, announcement by the Minister of Education that, look, they're not going to go for a Schools under the supervision of the ministry uh, will not. And he was appealing to all the others to follow suit. But we know, uh, I think Benue as well, saying they're going to go for the WIAC. Southwest schools now saying they're going to go to the WIAC. So doesn't that paint a picture clearly of uh, what? A house divided against itself. Yes, it does at a point. But at another point, I think that the minister, because the, the minister's response came after an initial position from the presidential task force that it was okay for Nigeria to get involved in WAHEC. You know, so there are tardy, you know, connection points in the system. It happened with the African Trade Agreement, you know, issues. One Federal Executive Council has a meeting and says, hey, Nigeria can participate in, in the, in the uh, uh, treaty process. And then uh, two, three days later, he said, no, the presidency has said that it's not okay. So, you know, when you have a presidential task force, the, the minister of state was involved in the process. And then you now come subsequently and the minister comes in. It says, hey, where was the minister? Does the minister of state not represent the government as it were? You know, you've had the same issues with, uh, you know, uh, the minister of labor, wherein the minister of state says A and the minister says B. Was the minister of the house? No, the and house, the, national, the mi national no, no. assembly. If, I'm talking even at the ESCO, at the ESCO system, because there were reports about uh, the minister Chris Ngige, you know, apologizing to the national assembly on behalf of the ministry. That, that's not a policy statement. No, no, but you know what it says is that minister and minister of state, don't you talk? Don't you exchange memos before you come in public? Because once there was a summons, the house said, "Come and explain what this is all about." Now, you mean you did not discuss it in house? What's, what's wrong with his apology? Because if it was a, I mean, not that that was planned, the spur, it appeared, well, I stand corrected, Mr. Kiyamo's uh, outburst. Yeah. It, it appeared as though it was a spur of the moment kind of thing. So if the minister had gone, okay, okay, well, just trying to calm free nerves and then apologizes for that, what's wrong with that? Yeah, but you know, consequential developments. Yes, you, you could read it at one point that it was spur of the moment, but consequential issues. Uh, the, 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 the Minister of State says he has had a meeting with the President on this, and the President says, hey, go on with the program. So we are seeing things that are more than sport. We are seeing things that are, you know, having to do with temper, you know, temper differentials in governance. Now, that's normal for people, but, you know, there should be a process of harmonizing. 
when government says, when the presidency says, when the administration says, you know, on any issue, it should be the voice of the administration. But the minister, are you saying that the minister actually agreed with the National Assembly on their position, contrary to that of the executive? No, I, I think what the minister was trying to do was, was politicking. I think he was trying to, you know, troubleshoot, you know, in that sense. But the fact that you've got to do a whole lot of troubleshooting, you know, oh. in the public arena, oh. means that you are not having a whole lot of coordination backstage. It's so, a husband and a wife fighting in public. Okay, now, concerning this lead one now, what do you expect? Now that uh, the Southwest schools and some, some other schools across the country are saying, look, we're set, we're ready. It means they're going to participate. And the minister, I don't think he has, there's any announcement to the effect that, okay, uh, we've seen rescinded that uh, decision of mine. What should happen? No, I think what should happen is that they should, they, they, should, they should talk. First, these issues are that education, you know, is on the concurrent list. So that means that the federal government can have a view and the states can have a view. So there is nothing that the states are doing that is out of order you know, in that sense, right? But then in the, for, the, for, for the sake of managing national processes, national crisis, national emergency, and national issues, you know, in that sense, there should be a discussion. How many children are we talking about? What kind of logistics can we, you know, put in place? Nigeria is the biggest player in the WIAC ecosystem. So Nigeria should be able to dictate and say, hey, you know this thing? We need two more months to put these details together. You know, we want to win this also. Because we have 1.5 uh, million children that are going to be stuck in the, in the revolving chain. We want to win this and so give us two more months to put our house together so that we can have a befitting you know, mm. uh, intervention in this whole process. All right. So, I mean, the story at the bottom strip, you uh, might have caught it in our opening sequence. Father speaks as Nigeria's 24-year-old first female combat pilot killed in car accident. I mean... Everybody would be heartbroken normally about this kind of scenario, but um, yeah, you, you didn't even get the chance to come and tell me why we opened. Mm -hmm. So, what did you? How did it hit you when, you when you heard it? No, no, no. My 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 heart goes to the father, you know, the immediate family, and indeed the entire nation. It's painful. It's painful. By God's grace, they have a child. This child has grown, and as I think Mark, Mark Boy was trying to say, she's broken all of the sayings. Mm -hmm. You know, 60 years after independence, almost about the same six decades of setting up the Nigerian Air Force, you know, we finally have a combat helicopter, you know, pilot from the female gender. She's done well. The, the, there are issues about whether she's 23 or 25, but then let's, let's, let's leave it at that. But she's young and she speaks to the promise of Nigeria. She speaks to the promise of our young people. They're, 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 not, they're not idle. They are not dull, they are not dumb. They can achieve, they can aspire, they can build capacity. They can fix this nation. And I think that it's painful, it's painful, it's tough. So the only one should stop saying, hey, young, sit down. What you can see standing up, we see sitting down. Perhaps they should slow down that proverb and let the young ones No, I think that, program, that proverb should be thrown away. <laughs> <laughs> it makes sense, it does make sense. These guys are 80% of your population. Perhaps one of the things that's even more painful about her is the fact that, I mean, I mean, 30 years down the line, she could have been a media consultant speaking to many things, you know, because of the experiences that she could have gathered. But anyway, let's move to the Daily Trust newspaper this morning. It leads with an economic story. Farmers, small businesses get CBN's interest-free loans. And as the lead of the Daily Trust newspaper this morning, it'll allow Muslims to take facilities. It's according to Dr. Bashir. Um, selection must be transparent, according to beneficiaries and analysts, hail measures. Is it the main headline that grabs you there, or the sub-headlines? Let's say the, the sub, they said the devil is in the details, and uh, the one that touches about the process being transparent, mm. you know, uh, I, I think that, 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 that hits it for me, because, you know, we hear of disbursements, we hear of, you know, budgets, we hear the sums, the process is at the end game. Who did it get to? Did it get to someone that his neighbor, you know, can point to, you know, uh, and did it did it have a white representative spread, you know, in terms in terms of the national, you know, uh, you know, uh, you know, mix? Because we do have 
you know, crisis everywhere, you know, the crisis of poverty, the close to 100 million people that, you know, were in the poverty bracket and uh, the expanded numbers that COVID-19 has also, you know, added, you know, have to be addressed across the spectrum, you know, and it, it just speaks to the fact that, yes, uh, the CBN is about intervening now, but then we needed to have done this 20 years ago. But, you know, really, it's not the first time the CBN is talking about this because, I mean, in the recent years, CBN had talked about a 50 billion naira MSME facility, but um, the, you, you raised the issue of um, who does it get to, but then it also raises the question of how it gets to the people, right? Yes, the how. You, 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 you know, when you deal with processes of this nature, one of the things that you've got to find out is to say, hey, what are the structures through which such disbursements, you know, are made? Because you are going to disburse these monies to people. And then you've got to also find out, okay, what again are the issues that may arise, you know, post disbursement? For example, you have this EFCC crisis now, you know, and you want to ask yourself and say, hey, what's going on? There's, there's supposed to be a war against corruption and there's supposed to be a structured system, you know, to address each and every part of it, you know, but we're hoping that, you know, ultimately you'll be able to come out to the open and say, hey, okay, this is how this has gone, this is how this has gone, you know, but it's better to be proactive, to have institutional and structural mechanisms ahead of time to say, let's address this, let's address this, you know, and I think that's where the CBN is, you know, has to watch it because the CBN is an apex bank. It's mm -hmm. not a primary organization that relates with, you know, the man on the street. Okay. You know. Well, so many things, just as you said, we have to find the details and take the devil out. Um, Mark, where coming to you now. Well, the story is still on. Tension in EFCC as PMB suspends 12 directors. That's how the leadership uh, leads their story. Magu regains freedom after 10 days in police custody. Rights panel demands charge sheet, copy of Malami's memo, Youth Council backs President's anti-graft war. Now, there are those who have said that at the end of the day, they don't see anything coming out of this. What's your stance on this when uh, we eventually saw the uh, suspended acting chairman of the EFCC uh, regaining his freedom? What are your thoughts on the probe so far? Yeah, I, 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 you know, straight away, I would say this is messy. Nigeria is supposed to have been fighting a war against corruption. And uh, every war is fought with a strategy, with a battle plan, with some structure, with some process. So uh, by the time the central manager, or uh, you know, the, the, the face, the first you know face of this war, you know, uh, is you know uh, involved or supposedly involved in such situations, it means, for example, that we've actually been quite tardy, you know, in the entire process. Now and then to come to find out that. You have to now uh, take him into custody for the better part of two weeks, and then you release him on bail. Now, this is supposed to be processes, investigations that are supposed to have been addressed and tidied up. You know, it should not take more than 48, 72 hours to get into you know prosecution stages. So, which means that uh, you don't fish for evidence after the fact. You know, the, okay, if if at the end of the day we come to be told that, uh, hey, no, no, there was just a, a few, a few mix-ups. What about the reputational damage to the nation? The president is supposed to be the African Union champion against corruption. The president of this country, who has been running this war, who's been waging this war for five years, is supposed to be the African champion against corruption. Just last week, he made a statement asking that the African Union should work harder, you know, at you know tackling corruption. Is there anything that negates that? No, no, well, the tardiness in the, in the entire process. You, 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 you must put your house in order. You must set examples, not just in terms of the conceptual, not just in terms, you know, of uh, the speeches, but also in terms of the activity. An anti-corruption, uh, you know, uh, what they call it, agency, head of an anti-corruption agency, taken away for 10 days, and then he walks home and says that, uh, no, this is just uh, a, a tea. Are, are, are we playing games here? 
Okay, you expected him to say something else. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, let's jump to the next one so we can capture some more just before we wrap up. So, I take a look at Vanguard next, or the same theme as well. Magu gets bail as FG suspends 12 EFCC directors. He hasn't been brought before panel since last Thursday, says his lawyer. Adds he's yet to see allegations against him. IGP writes, Magu's lawyer says he has no hands in his detention. So maybe Mr. Magu's going to start reading up all these things that have been written against him previously. So that's what you find. And then, just above this lead story, 774,000 jobs. Back to where we started out. Senators, reps insist program remains suspended. This is the latest perspective after that emergency session yesterday. So, where lies, where, where do you see this headed? Uh, I think, I, 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 I don't know, you know, you, you, th th there are troubles that are predictable, there are troubles that you bring upon yourself, you know, and I think this is one of those troubles that we have brought upon ourselves. <laughs> and I think at the end of the day, okay. we may not get real value for money, you know, yeah. out of the entire process. Well, Mr. and Mrs. is quite interesting, but I may have to just jump it. Oh, wow, can I resist it, guys? Um, well, let me just quickly say, he says, look, um, I never thought that's Mrs. telling Mr. I never thought you would like that part of beef, as they say, one man's meat is another man's poison. And Mr., who is right on the table, uh, eating, says, you're a married woman. What's your business with another man? Your job is to cook for me. Only. Only <laughs> me. So forget about that proverb, perhaps. That's Van Gaal this morning. Look, Guardian, very quickly. UK's new migration visa lures Nigerian doctors. More health workers may flee. Uh, Nigeria can only achieve sufficiency in 100 years. We want to find out who said that. 58 doctors stopped last week have left the country. So many issues about this. Can you attend to this in 20 seconds? How did that happen? <laughs> they say when it's a nation, a nation, you've got to plan. You know, when, 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 when you are in charge of a nation, you've got to be on your desk. Someone in government told me some time ago, he said, Richard, you know one of the most shocking things I found out about the governance process is that there's no rigor. You must have plans. Five years, 10 years, 20 years. We, we have a global ecosystem of competing nations and each one is trying to get the best for its own people. And the only business while you're in government is to get the best for your own people. You mm. know, we, you, 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 we, we spend so much, you know, educating our, our children at such levels with scarce resources and then they now emigrate abroad. You know, it's, 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 it's painful. It's painful. So there you go. Interesting perspectives, uh, both from the headlines as well. Thank you very much indeed, Mr. Richard Mama.